Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about my LASIK eye surgery. I did go ahead and record the surgical process and all that good stuff for you guys. So if you want to see what the surgery um, includes, then you could actually watch that in this video. If you don't like that, feel free to fast forward through. Um, I went to Dr. Filatowski, which is in Orlando, Florida. I do want to pause real quick and just say if my demeanor doesn't seem like usual, um, it's because there was a loss in my family this week and I just don't fully feel like myself, you know, being upset from that and everything. So if I don't seem like my normal happier self, that is why. Please bear with me um, as I have a little less videos going up um, while I go through this and while I maybe don't seem totally myself. But anyway, the point of the video uh, is the LASIK surgery. So I went to Dr. Filatowski in Orlando, Florida, and I was very happy with my experience there. They did a very good job. I have my follow-up appointment in a few weeks, uh, probably about three weeks, I guess, because it was a month after the surgery that I get to go back. Um, so the surgery is kind of expensive. I'm very nearsighted, which means I can't see far away. Um, I was very fortunate to have a family member do this for me as a gift, um, so that was really, really kind of that family member. Um, I'll be honest, the LASIK surgery, the consultation's fine. You go in, you have to have your contacts out for three days before you have your consultation because they can affect the shape of your eye, which can make your prescription in your eye, you know, the things they check for off and not correct. So um, I did have to get checked because when I went for my consultation, it had only been two days, so I had to go back the third day, the day before surgery, to be checked one more time. Pretty much, they check your eyes in a couple different ways. Um, you need to have a certain thickness of your cornea to be a candidate. I believe most people are candidates, but um, not everyone is, and there are other options out there, but you would have to go for a consultation to know more about that. I am not an eye doctor. Um, I will say that my prescription was really high. I was in the negative sevens range even possibly negative eight because they said my glasses weren't correct um that i had so i mean my prescription is a lot higher than probably some other people you've seen on youtube if you've watched these kind of videos and you're debating lasik for yourself so if i was a candidate chances are you probably are too um and really i think the point is more so what your cornea's uh thickness is i know that that really mattered um and that your eye is healthy so you go for your consultation, they do all those tests and check for all those things. Once you find out if you're a candidate, you can talk the financial aspect, like the pricing, and negotiate that a little bit, and pay and or set up a payment plan or whatever you're going to do. Um, and then when it comes to surgery day, you will see that in my video uh, now. Uh, they did give me a Valium to relax me and to help me sleep afterwards. I was really nervous and I've had a lot of surgeries, especially um, for somebody my age, but I was so scared. I, I mean, half about it being awake and half about it um, being my eyes and like I was scared I could go blind, even though like the, the chances of that are very small, but there are risks and complications that could happen with anything. Um, I was just really scared. I don't know, this one freaked me out. I wanted to make sure that the Valium was you know kicked in before they started so I was actually supposed to go second and I went third I let the girl who was after me go first because I wanted to make sure I was feeling that so they take me to the first machine and they do the flap they take me to the second machine they but you know laser buzz your eyes and then they had me stand up take a picture and uh, I went back the next day and although foggy at that point I could see the 2030 line in my worst eye and in my not as bad eye to start out with some of the 2020 line but foggy it did take a few th days for things to clear up a little bit I explain this by saying it's kind of like you see something written in more crayon or colored pencil versus pen or ink so it's like not as crisp um, and I think that's a pretty a pretty good way to describe it um, it has cleared up since then I wouldn't say my site is totally perfect but it is amazing I'm very happy with it there like I could read things and see things that like honestly before with how high my prescription was I couldn't see like anything like anything without contacts or glasses in my eyes um, except for like if I had something this close to my face so it has been truly a gift and it is amazing so go ahead and watch the surgical process now and I will be back at the end 
to give you my final thoughts on LASIK. We're at Dr. Filatowski's. I'm with my sister. She took me. I'm going to be getting my LASIK eye surgery. Freaking out. I'm so scared. I look atrocious. Not allowed to wear makeup or contacts or nothing, so I'm gonna turn my glasses into sunglasses because they were originally sunglasses and I kept the um, lenses. She's going to film the surgery and I'll see you later. So oh, this is the, um, it's like a large waiting room at the LASIK Institute and then uh, in there is where I will be having my LASIK surgery and that cutout is the guy who's doing it. It's Dr. Filatowski. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's when they brought me into the first machine. This little old lady was so sweet. She could tell I was scared shitless. You're awake for this whole surgery, so it's pretty frightening. She told me to breathe in and out, and she's putting something under my legs. Now she's putting some numbing drops in my eyes so that I won't feel anything. I was freaking out at this point. Uh, fortunately, they give you a Valium to calm down the anxiety a bit, but it was really scary, I'm not gonna lie. So this lady just made sure they have the right, you know, chart of my eyes up and all that stuff. And this is the doctor coming in, letting me know he's there because I couldn't see anything. And now he's about to make the flaps, which is where they have a laser slice a like thin layer of your cornea off. You could see it on the screen. Like that's exactly what it looked like for me. Everything went really light, like a light blue white color. Uh, kind of like you're like going to heaven or something. It's just really bright light. So the laser at this point is just slowly slicing my cornea about three quarters off to create the flap. All right now he's doing my other eye, same thing. Just creating the flap. I'm not going to show as much. And you can see that sweet old lady is still comforting me. She was so nice. Now that um, that part's done, they had me wait for about like five minutes in another room. Just with my eyes closed. And then they brought me to the second machine, which is where I'm laying down now. And this is where the actual LASIK happens. She's putting in some more numbing drops into my eyes making sure that like bonnet things on good so no hair can get anywhere it shouldn't be. And now you could see the doctor's just using some kind of like instrument to essentially fold back my cornea. None of this hurt. I know it looks kind of gruesome, but it wasn't painful. I could feel that stuff was happening, but it wasn't sharp or uh, painful. It was more uncomfortable and annoying. So that right there is the flap that he folded back. That's my cornea. And here they're having me stare at a light until I guess they get like the right angle. I'm not, I'm not really sure. And then they start to zap my eye. So that zapping noise you hear is the actual laser zapping into my eye. They counted down like 50 seconds, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, and then they paused at 20 and went back and finished the last 10. I'm thinking it was more time because of how much correction I needed. I had a pretty high prescription. Um, all during this time, I could actually smell, um, I don't want to say the burning, I don't know what it really is, but it smelled like burning keratin or like burning hair to me. Also, I could feel all the zapping. It was in no way painful, but I could feel like a little tiny amount of pressure from each little zap. Now here he's taking that same instrument and he's putting my cornea back in place and they put some like liquids and stuff like that after um, on my eye, just some drops of some kind. And you can see he's kind of just scooting it to where it belongs, I guess.
and I remember actually seeing this and I was like why is there a sponge on my eye I don't know what that is I'm guessing it's to seal it a bit or maybe to clean it and make sure there's no particles I'm not sure and then this is them moving on to the second eye so here I'm done they turned me out from the machine and like literally immediately had me stand up they removed the bonnet and I mean, within seconds, they had me taking a picture. Um, you can see he's cleaning me up here, but then they're gonna have me stand up and take a picture, which I thought was kind of weird. Like I was not ready. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm home. I'm relaxing. Yes, that is Sharpie above my eyebrows. Um, I can kind of see, but things are still pretty blurry. It is now around 4 o'clock, so I'll check in later or tomorrow morning. Bye. Hey guys, it's the next morning. I'm about to go to my post-op appointment. I feel like I could probably drive, but to play it safe, I have my dad coming to pick me up and take me um, to the appointment. I'm wearing sunglasses, but these are actually the same glasses I had on yesterday. I just popped, well, I had my husband pop the sunglass lenses back into them that they originally came with instead of the prescription lenses because I won't need those anymore. Um, I know I don't look so great. I'm not allowed to wear makeup. Um, my eyes are a little sensitive, especially to light, which is why I um, am wearing the sunglasses. I kind of feel like I got hit by a bus. Um, just tired. Uh, what can I say? So I feel like I see pretty good. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome, like, to see without anything in my eyes, or like, you know, I read, I reached over this morning to put on my glasses, but I don't need to do that anymore, like, little things that you're used to doing with your, your contacts or your glasses that, um, like last night and this morning I didn't have to do, so that felt kind of weird, like, I went to do it, and I'm like, oh wait, no, Lori, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to do that, um, but I will say, like, when I try to push it and, like, focus on, like, little words or letters, um, Things aren't as clear or as sharp as when I wore my contacts. I don't know if that's normal and just something in the beginning or if that gets better or if that's how it's going to be. But I'm going to my appointment now. Okay, so you just saw the whole surgical process of my LASIK eye surgery. Um, maybe I'll do a check-in video a few months down the road if that's something people are interested in seeing You can let me know in the comments um, if there's anything I miss uh, Missed in this video that you were curious about or any questions that I could answer remember I'm not an eye doctor, but if there's any questions you had Please go ahead and comment and I'll get back to you as fast as I can with uh, with an answer um, Now with makeup. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup for a full week. I am wearing makeup now But I am and that's eye makeup. Uh, you can wear foundation if you're careful like, if you're careful, but um, I didn't wear eye makeup for a, a full week, um, and like that was hard for me. I never really go without mascara when I leave the house, so for a full week I wore no makeup. Um, I'm wearing makeup now, but I'm not doing fake lashes or anything with glitter because I don't want anything like glue or glitter to get in my eyes. I don't know. I'm just being a little more careful and taking it slow, so I just I'm just doing like shadow line or mascara pretty much for for my eyes right now. I don't want to put on like loads and loads of stuff on my eyes like, you know, all the glitter and things that can flake like that, you know, if that makes any sense. So, um, yeah, I, I find myself, you know, going to do those habits that I've, I've had for so long. Like I've worn glasses since I was eight and contacts since I was in fifth grade. So, you know, forever. And I go to re reach for my glasses when I wake up. Or I go to take my contacts out like five times every night because I keep thinking I have to take them out because I can see. Um, so it's it's been hard adjusting to those th um, those things. I mean, not in a bad way, but I that habit is so such a long time like habit like it's so deep within me that it's it's been hard to break um they did give me everything i needed for after surgery so i ha i have these antibiotic drops that i'm still using um less than when it first happened and i am using um like tears to keep my eyes you know wet when i first wake up in the morning there's a little bit of dryness so i put them in right when i first wake up and then i feel fine um i don't really have any symptoms i'd say just that just the dry eyes when i first wake up in the morning which the tears take care of right away um, that day of surgery was 
<laughs> not too bad. I can honestly tell you nothing of the whole entire procedure hurt. I had zero pain. Nothing felt painful, nothing felt sharp, nothing like that. It was just the anxiety of doing it. And um, when you're actually getting getting the surgery, it is uncomfortable because they I mean they have your eye, you know, kind of clamped open or whatever, but nothing hurt it just was uncomfortable um when they laser it smells like burning keratin to me which is like hair like it burnt hair that's kind of what it smelled like but not a strong word smell um and i could feel everything happening but nothing hurt uh what else would you guys might want to know that day of recovery you're supposed to go home and sleep i had trouble sleeping but i did manage to sleep a bit you want to keep your eyes closed they give you these clear like kind of like a glasses lens just to tape over each eye when you sleep at night because you can't be rubbing your eyes so you need to be very careful with that you can't get anything in your eyes for a few days the thing about recovery of that day after surgery is it kind of feels like you ever wake up in the morning and um it's bright and your eyes don't want to stay open because it's bright and it's annoying not painful but annoying to your eyes so you kind of have to keep you close your eyes that's kind of how i would describe it my eyes didn't hurt didn't feel like there was sand in them i did have a little bit of foreign object sensation in my worst eye for like a day or two but more so it was just it was more so like kind of like when you just wake up and it's bright and you want to close your eyes like i felt like i needed to keep my eyes closed so that was just the first day when i woke up the next day that was totally gone and the fogginess continued to improve so I, I followed all the instructions to the T, and my results so far have been great. It's been totally fine. It is such a gift to be able to see. I 100% recommend LASIK. I think so far I'm I'm super glad I did it. And with Dr. Phil, uh, Filatowski, if I ever need to go back in the future, it will only be 500 per eye. So it'll cost less money if I need to touch it up at any time in the future. So that's nice as well. Um, and his staff was nothing but sweet and kind. Uh, you're, I'm sure you saw that in the video. They were, they were great. So it was overall a good experience. I would highly recommend LASIK. If there's anything I missed, please don't hesitate to ask. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.